guys, Kevin Shaw here, Editor-in-Chief of Mopar Connection Magazine. We're on another road trip, and we're heading up to Washington, Illinois to go visit Dave Hughes at Hughes Engines. We're actually really excited. This is the first time for us. Uh, Dave has been with Mopar Connection Magazine for several years now. Hopefully you guys have seen our monthly installments of tech articles that we've been doing with Hughes Engines. We're really excited with some of the content that they've been putting out, and we finally got the go-ahead to come up to the shop and bring our Edelbrock RPM performer heads off of the Brazen Charger, so we're finally going to get a really cool CNC port job on those heads. Now, Hughes Engines offers so many different varieties of port, of porting work, of valve jobs, you can go from mild to absolutely insane with these guys. They have all the best formulas. In fact, even Edelbrock told us Dave's got the best program, so go to Dave. So, we're going to Dave. Right now, we're looking at not going terribly crazy. Ultimately, our biggest problem is that the charger, even though we're 535 cubic inches, we're just running at a top end, around 55 to 5600 RPM, we start to lay over. And that shouldn't be happening for another thousand, another thousand RPM. So, when we reached out to Dave, he says, well, we can do a, a, a variety of different things, but I think we need to go through, we need to open up, <clears throat> open up the intake and exhaust runners, and we need to go in and really clean up the bowls all around and shroud the valve. And once we do that, even if we leave the valves at the stock size, the stock valves from Edelbrock, we'll still be able to make over 700 horsepower with just the combination we've got. And if not, we'll get really close to it, and that's okay. But we really want to open up that top end, so we're heading off right now. We're gonna show you guys through this camera lens a little behind the scenes footage from Dave Hughes and Hughes Engines and how they go through in opening up a set of Edelbrock RPM Performer heads and everything that is available to you as a customer through Hughes Engines. In all, the entire process took a little over two days. Since we had come with our own set of 84cc RPM performers that we had been running for a few years now, they needed to be disassembled and glass bead blasted. After the heads were cleaned, they were put on the CNC to be ported. The program runs through a mile of code with a handful of stops so cutting tools can be exchanged. Then Hughes Engine's shop manager, Keaton White, spent a few hours manually blending the ports by hand. Next, Keaton bead blasted, scuffed, angle cut, and lapped the valves, but not before installing a set of bronze valve guides. The result is an Edelbrock head that flows an added 53 CFM of intake at 600 lift and another 21 CFM in the exhaust. With our newly ported heads and one of Hughes Engine's special valley pans with larger ports to fit our heads, we were ready to install everything back on the Charger's 535 stroker wedge. After a few passes with the paint can, we reinstalled our Hughes Engine's prepped heads, comp roller rockers, set the new valve lash since our valves had just been cut, and the new valley tray.
Next, we routed our fast, easy EFI 2.0 harness, installed our custom ported single plane manifold, and fuel injection throttle body. We also screwed in a fresh set of spark plugs and reinstalled our Doug's headers with some fresh gaskets, because exhaust leaks are the worst. And bam, there we go. Now we've got a big cubic inch Mopar that revs like a banshee when we shift her above six grand. There's still a little tweaking needed to do to the timing, but we'll get her ironed out. Until then, we hope you enjoyed this video. And if you would, please hit the like button, leave a comment, and maybe share this with your friends. It'll definitely help us grow the channel. And if you want more awesome Mopar content, please check us out over at MoparConnectionMagazine.com where new articles are written and published entirely subscription-free to you Monday through Friday.